So for a one point perspective, we put horizon line, lower part of the page, put the one point perspective here, and try and do a basic street scene. So start the architecture here, take it down to here on this side. And if I want a building parallel to it on the other side of the street, what I'll do is I'll take the edge, of, top edge of the building and do a line across like so. And that gives me the reference I need. And also on this side here, draw the line down from it there and there. Base, the bottom of the building joining with the ground, do the gable end of the building here, now to give these basic shapes more character we can try and keep the line straight but what I think gives them more character and age to a building is if you start to curve lines across like this and that's where you start to get a stylization an exaggeration of something rather than keeping the line straight. Let's put a roof on these buildings so we'll have this going off like that. We can't see the edge of the other building because we're so low down in the plane. Let's put some doors and windows on these buildings. Now where we want the, built the windows level all the way through this particular drawing is from this one point perspective I'm going to put the tops of the windows along this line here for the upper story and when it hits this line over here I'm able to draw a line across from it so I keep everything level. The same with this here I'm going to draw a line across like so. Now I'm going to start to do the windows, put the side of the building, got everything in perspective. Of course if I want to get the window directly underneath it, you can just do the lines down like this. So you approximately you're keeping the same thickness of that building. Now let's get a door. the window above that, like so. Now go to the dwelling on the other side and I'm going to try and make this a little bit more interesting now for this one point perspective and have a little structure coming out from the front of the building. So let me do a line down from here and extend this out a little bit. Let's have this shape coming out. Now if I want to get its thickness right as it goes up here, I need to use my one point perspective to guide me as to where that shape comes out from. So I can draw a line straight down like so. So I've changed the structure a little bit, made it a little bit more interesting. And the roof again the side. Now we're going to put a roof on the front of this as well, going up to here. Let's put a little bit of a curve again to make it more interesting. And I'm going to put a shape going in like so. Now for a window, if we're going to put it on the side of this structure here, what we can do is we can figure out where the windows are closer here. 
we can relate it here, the cross section here, that can go straight across because this is the side. And build this up like so. So here's a window on the side. And the same as this one. Like so. Windows at the side of the building. I'm going to put two sets here. You notice that this window is a little bit wider than that window there. The reason for that is because this window is closest to us. And if you want to get them matched up with each other, you can do that. There's the side of that building there as it goes back in. I'm going to put some windows on top here. This shape. Now the windows at the side. So finishing up now, all I'm going to do is just tidy up the lines. Get that horizon line across here. Back. So there's a basic use of uh, one point perspective. And you want to tidy it up to have a street scene. So we've got some sidewalk or pavement. Do this. And just remind yourself about what type of perspective it is and just write in one point perspective. <laughs> 